Welcome Cancer. We're going to be looking at, well, making an inquiry um, to find out what it is that you need to know for your soul's journey right now. We'll be using the Work Your Light inquiry cards specifically pulled, just the inquiry cards, okay? Um, the Mystic Healing and Osho Uzen Tarot. So, let's get into it here, Cancer. One card for Cancer, please. One card for Cancer. What is Cancer's soul inquiring about? Okay. The crumbling. The crumbling. Okay. What are you clinging to? Oh, yeah, rightio. There's something... There's something that you're clinging to that um, is not allowing you to move forward, forward into the life that you dream of, Cancer. At least that's what I'm feeling from that card. Hmm. It's like it's like whatever you dream of or you're aiming towards is there for the taking, but there's like these walls up that you've actually placed there that are stopping you from receiving everything it is that you wish to receive. So, yeah. Okay, so tell me more about this, the crumbling. Three cards for Cancer. For the crumbling, please. What are you clinging on to? One. Hmm. Yeah. Two more. Two more for the crumbling for cancer, please. It's really interesting because with this crumbling card, um, it sort of reminds me of the tower, to be honest. Um, but but it's not actually crumbling down. This is the thing. It's kind of like trying to hold that tower up, not allowing it to crumble. And maybe that's um, a comfort thing. Maybe it's a comfort zone for you, potentially. There we go. Thank you. I'll take that first card that came out. What was that one, though? Okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> first card here is access clear thinking. See, this is the thing, and um, I feel like, Cancer, for some of you, you may not even know that you're kind of holding on to something. It's sort of like, well, no, that's not true. I really want this thing. I really, really, really want it. But there's something inside of you that is having trouble letting go of, um, oh, that's not, no, it's, it's not necessarily letting go. It's um, having trouble letting the walls down, breaking down those walls. It's like you want to step into a new world, but you don't want to let these walls of protection, potentially, down that you've placed there um, to help you feel safe. And... Um, they're not needed anymore. This is the thing. They are not needed anymore. But you don't want to let them down. And, and, and you've sort of built this world inside of these walls. Um, and you know that there's so much more outside of them. But for whatever reason, you're too afraid to open yourself up. To that vulnerability. Mm, mm. And I feel like with this card here, Access Clear Thinking, it's really, see, because look at her, she's standing behind this wall here, right? There's this whole life that she could go and discover, but she's standing behind the wall. And I feel like there's, because there's a maze here, and there's also a maze here, and I feel like there's a particular perception of the maze for you, Cancer, um, which isn't necessarily correct. Uh, and the interesting thing is with this ball of um, material, it's 
it's actually being place, placed through the maze here. And it's kind of like, then that way you can find your way back. But the only thing that you're going back to is the behind the walls. So why would you want to stay connected? It's like it's not cutting the cords from um, the things that you keep feeling like you need to be protected from. And, and in that regard, that's what you're not letting go of because you're still holding on. You're still holding on to the things that you feel you need protection from. Hmm. Access clear thinking. And part of me feels like there's this need to unravel all that, you know, um, because you've got it kind of like raveled up in this neat little ball here but um that just fell out i don't like how that came out it, it, it's a bit it's sort of like cancer it consumes you it sort of consumes you in a sense it's always there and it never leaves you it never leaves you this is really interesting Hmm. What else have we got here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is the thing. It's always on your mind. There's always this, this, um, this thing plaguing you. It feels like, um, and and you just cannot get rid of it. You know, I mean, this card says guilt here. So whether it's guilt, um, whatever it is. You know, it's the same with her, with this maze. It's in her mind. And I don't mean that in a in a critical way of, a, oh, it's all in your head. Um, not at all, because this is real for you, you know. Um, and it's sort of like, for some of you, trying to get past what is in your mind to get to where you want to go. That's the tricky thing. That is the tricky thing. And what I feel like here, Cancer, is the most important thing for you to do right now is to surrender. Surrender, because we also have this letting go, uh, sorry, going with the flow card here. And this is a brand new beginning. But there's this completion card that's come out with it as well, which I absolutely love for you. Because it's, it's sort of like, um, see how the piece of the puzzle is going to the mind here so it really is taking care of the mind it's like everything else has been taken care of because look here or look here right the garden has been planted the terrain is set everything is ready for you to step into the only thing that's getting in your way is your mind and it's like you're trapped inside of your mind about it and it's this maze of the mind going back and forth and back and forth and actually never being able to escape what it is that you continue to go over and over and over within your head, okay? And sometimes it really is, it's it's sort of like trying to figure it out, trying to work it out and what is it going to look like because, you know, I don't want to end up in the same position that I ended up before this so I better plan better and I better do this better and and uh, you know I, I ought to make sure that I'm not going to get tripped up again but the thing is the thing is that you've learned from all that you, you've learned your lessons you've done what you needed to do the last part of this is the completion of mastering the mind right and this is the master right the master of the mind bringing everything together that you've learned here so that you can have the world that you dream of you can have the life that you dream of because this is what you are aiming towards and it is right there but there is this big tower here in your way and I feel like this is potentially the most difficult part for you. Is letting go of that mind stuff. 
and trusting, right? Examine your integrity. This is you in two worlds. It's like being in two worlds here. But there's, there's this cutoff. It, there's, there's not a, um, I want to say a connection for some reason. There's, there's, they're not um, integrated, I suppose. These two worlds aren't integrated. I don't know if it's the world you want to step into and the world that you're in now, or whether it's the world of yours and the world of someone else's coming together. Take it as it fits. But yeah, there's something... There's something more to this. What is it, please? It's sort of like just going through the motions and not actually... Um, I don't think it's about not being present. I feel like it's more about doing things because that's what you feel you're meant to do. Interesting, very interesting. So let's just have a look more into this though. There's so much more about this. <laughs> Trying to stop it from going on the floor, it goes on the floor anyway. There you go. That's the thing though, right? Um, see, there was something in that when I said that, trying to stop it from going on the floor, but it goes on the floor anyway. Um, and I feel like whatever is going to happen is going to happen anyway. You can't do anything to really stop it. Because when it's to do with your soul's path, it's going to happen anyway. It's just, you know, it's sort of like just meant to be. Um, but with this examine your integrity here, we have these two cards, Celebration and Awareness. There's a need for you to, uh, part of this letting go here, Cancer, is a need for you to let your hair down. Okay, because um, you've been so focused on doing something in your life or being involved with something in your life that it's sort of like you've forgotten to have fun and um, and in relation to this particular thing whatever that is for you um, I think it's important to to have a bit more awareness about it be honest with yourself about it okay um, because sometimes the mind can trick us and we allow it to. You know, we justify things for ourselves so that we don't have to make the change that we know deep down inside we need to make. Right? Um, yeah. This is pretty interesting here. We have patience and projections. And, um, and I feel like with these two cards here, this is... <sighs> mainly about being patient with yourself um, in regards to a particular relationship potentially for some of you um, or even the relationship that you have with yourself because there's a lot of um, projections going on here. What I feel like is very important to say here, Cancer, is that whatever is going on for anyone else in your life, realistically you can only be responsible for yourself in the sense of okay for example if you have an argument with someone it's really important rather than you know saying how much they annoyed you and they did this or that or whatever 
it's really important to look at yourself and see how you contributed to that okay um because the one thing that i feel is really important in making any sort of relationship work be it a friendship a you know romantic relationship relationship with family even co-workers is really looking at the allocation of responsibility of your emotions and taking on board what you are responsible for and not projecting those onto other people and also not taking on board what emotions other people are responsible for. Yes, we can apologise for maybe actions or, you know, sometimes we might upset somebody without intending on doing that. But understanding that ultimately it's our responsibility to take care of our own emotions. Okay. Um, and yeah, see, not carrying the burden here, not carrying the burden for other people and not expecting other people to carry the burden for you. Participating in the connection in an equal way. So as to bring balance, okay? If one of you is doing more than the other, or, you know, this could be a whole family, you know, there could be, everyone needs to have equal part in their contribution um, and, and take responsibility equally for what is theirs. Okay, because I feel like there's projection in the sense of people throwing things at other people to say, you did this and so you need to, um, you know, it's all your fault. There's a bit of a blame game going on in a sense. And when you take responsibility for your own stuff, you don't need to play that game anymore. Okay. All you do need to do is change it, heal it. I mean, all you need to do, I mean, that can take some work. But, you know, um, and maybe maybe it's been through this that you've built these walls around you to protect yourself, which is now stopping you from stepping into the life that you desire. So, yeah. Next card here is become more objective. And I love this because see here, here how... This, yeah, okay, I see. Um, and I mean this in a really loving way here, Cancer. Um, none of us are angels. And none of us are devils. Okay, we all, we have all stuffed up. We all have our, our shadow self that we don't want to look at or we don't want other people to see, right? Um, so... It's important to be very honest with yourself about yourself, okay? Because I'm seeing here with this here, we've got the two wings there and this person, person's person got that puffer on a string, but here there's only one of the wings. So there's this other wing here, right? So this is really, really being honest with yourself, being objective. Um, it's a new way of seeing things, you know? A new way of looking at things. Um yeah, seeing things from another perspective. Um, hmm. and, and definitely taking responsibility, you know, looking at what you're consuming in every which way. No, um, mentally, emotionally, physically. Oh, we've got quite a few cards jumping out here. Right, Cancer. Right, right, right. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right, of, you know... <sighs> For some of you, I actually feel like this is shutting off your emotions, which is very interesting for your cancer. Um, so I know you can be quite an emotional soul. Um, but those emotions might have become too, just too heavy. Uh, and you've sort of, in a sense, isolated 
um i would say not just yourself but your emotions it's kind of like you've hardened some things maybe even your heart so that you don't have to feel them anymore but it's very important to release them because it is keeping you locked up you see this this one here um looking through the gate like the gates padlocked and it's it's chained up and it's you can't get through it right um and and this is a choice that this little one is making here to continue looking through the gate rather than turning around to see where the opening actually is it's staying inside the walls the walls of that you have built you're containing yourself in there in a sense for some of you, you may feel contained by circumstances in your life. So it could very well be looking at what it is that you can do to change that, okay? Um, and you can start with being completely and utterly honest with yourself about how you potentially may be doing this to yourself, okay? Because um, to colour in your world, to actually allow yourself to have the full experience of this lifetime, it's important for you to step into and let down these walls so you can step into your life and actually, truly live it. Because at the moment, I feel like there are those of you who are just going through the motions of your life, okay? We've also had... Um, Letting go pop up here as well, which really doesn't surprise me. But this is walking away from the things that no longer serve you. Walking away to go and find what it is that you truly want. Letting the walls down here and doing it anyway, right? Facing that fear. Um, and, you know, really allowing yourself to, um, to paint your own... I suppose to write your own story, to paint your own picture, in a sense, yeah. Um, and because the thing is, I feel like for some of you, you are almost there. You are almost making this connection. But what gets in your way is is the mind. It's sort of like you almost get there and it doesn't happen. So you're like, oh, well, it's not going to work. I might as well just, you know, go over here and do this. Um, but it is there. It's all, you know, you're almost there. This is the thing. And I think you just have to keep doing the work that you need to do and it's just like this the opening is there it looks like the rest of the tower has been knocked down and it's just this to go here cancer i think i think for some of you you've actually made more progress than what you may realize and maybe these walls were the the um the structural foundation they were the supporting walls that held up the whole tower to keep you protected so they're the hardest to knock down but they are the ones that are most worth it. Why? Because you're worth it, Cancer. You are worth it. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.